Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Ali Medad, we live with you in another session of the ME show. And man, today I got a good one for you. Uh, how many of you uh, find yourself wasting your time with the wrong prospects or you're doing a full blown training, you're doing a full blown uh, uh, meeting presentation just to realize, oh my goodness, uh, this is not going anywhere or this person just is it, not looking like they're going to do business with me. Well, if that's you or that has ever happened to you, congratulations, join a bunch of people uh, in 97 percent of the people who are in network marketing never turn a profit. And it's not because the profession is not working. It's not unfortunately that what it is, is they're not equipped. They don't have the right training, mentorship, education processes, and they're going about things in a winged kind of way. And hopefully it works out. Well, luckily you have me here with you every single day to pour onto you and share with you everything I've done to build businesses in six continents, 21 countries and five different languages. And yes, we are growing strong and you stick with me. I'll give you the goodies every single day. So let me know on the comment if you are watching us live or on the replay. And definitely, definitely feel free to engage with any golden nuggets that you are getting out of this session right here and right now because I give away a whole lot of stuff. So anybody who engaged, they either get a complimentary coaching session or one of my freebies. So every time you comment, every time you engage, every time you like, you start a watch party or share, I'm going to hit you up on Messenger with some goodies to hook you up with. Um, all right, now let's so go on to our topic for the day. The very first one is we're going to talk about the upfront contract. Now, you got to understand this right here will absolutely turn up the heat in your production and, and, and eliminate time wasters. So what is an upfront contract? See, this is a kind of an expectation agreement about the meeting before the meeting even happens. See, whenever I set up an, uh, an appointment with anybody, I don't just show up and hopefully things go out the way I'm expecting them to. No, there is an actual upfront contract that will take place. There are specific things that I make sure that your role in my role from a prospect to, to a business owner uh, to make sure you understand there is a set of expectations from me to you and from you to me. That way I guarantee the best outcome possible. And that is what I'm going to give you in five simple steps. So if you're ready, drop number one in that comment and I'll give you number one. Here we go. So the very first thing that you have to identify within an upfront contract is... Dun, dun, dun objectives. So you have to determine the objectives. What is the actual specific goal, the specific uh, uh, expectation? What are we getting done in this meeting? Are we just educating? Are we just trying to find a solution? Are we trying to get you to one of the, 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 the offers that we have? Are we following up just to see uh, if uh, 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 we are compatible and our core values are in alignment? If you don't identify the objective of the meeting before the meeting happens, I'm telling you, you failed. You're going with the hope and hope is not a game plan. Hope is great, but it is not a game plan. So you got to identify the objective of the meeting itself. What are we trying to get done? It has to be clear and concise before the meeting. Before the meeting, letting your prospect know, hey, uh, John, just so you know, the goal tomorrow is to help you best identify one of our offers that can provide the solutions for anything and everything that may help you scale your business. See that? Me telling you, I'm going to offer you something. I'm coming with the mindset of you becoming a customer of ours. So identify the objectives because before the meeting, Joe will tell you something like, hey, I don't have any money at all. So no matter what you offer me, I'm not going to be able to buy. See, that changes the actual objective of the meeting to, okay, well, how would you like to move forward then? Would you like me to just send you a, a, a video educating you and revisit in 30 days from now? See, now I'm not wasting my time because we've identified before I even sit down with you that you are a qualified candidate or you're just not ready for me. Okay. Number two, if you're ready for it, let me have it. Number two is time consideration. One thing that is so crucial is time blocking for me personally. I got to know exactly what time we're meeting and what time we're finishing. See, most of us, they set up an appointment. I'll call you at 11 o'clock. Okay, well, what does that mean? 
And then you find yourself saying, hey, I hate to cut you off, but I have another meeting coming up. And then you didn't uh, even get to the opportunity to raise value. You didn't get to the opportunity to, to, to put an offer out there. And you find yourself saying, man, only if I had five more minutes, I could have closed business. So make sure you let your prospect know beforehand, hey, so I have you blocked for 30 minutes and uh, we're going to have 10 minutes for A, 10 minutes for B. In the last 10 minutes, I'm going to go over some of the options that we have for you so we can provide the best solutions for your business to scale up. Is that okay? So always, always have time consideration because if the individual says, well, I also would like to see A, B, and C, you know, options from the back end of your website. Well, you can say, okay, on that end, let me grab another time slot and maybe 10 o'clock isn't good for us. Why don't we do four o'clock so I can give you an hour instead of 30 minutes? See, again, that reshaped the meeting on an agreed upon situation that there is a win, win, win. And you know you're going to get the best outcome possible. Number three, if you're ready for it, let me know that you are with me. All right, I'm rhyming these so far so good. So number three is the prospect's role. You have to let the prospect know, all right, so you are obviously going to be evaluating the different options that can be congruent with your business. And I want you to watch this video before we come into the meeting and write any and all questions that you may feel like are relevant to your business. See, I gave you homework as a prospect. Watch a video, go ahead and write any and all questions that may be relevant to your business. Now, if you don't do that, the prospect is going to come in and start asking you real-time questions that may be so far-fetched and it's not a prepared meeting. But if they come with, hey, I got five main questions, they're so focused, meaning if you answer these questions for me, I'm doing business with you today. Instead of, you know, they're just winging it and thinking to themselves, well, I don't know. Let me think about it. I'm sure I'll have some questions later on. No, 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 no. Make sure you give them 24 hours of some previewed information so they can come with any and all questions and ta-da, you're ready to just do business instead of actually ready to talk more and do another follow-up yet again, okay? So number five, uh, number three is identify the prospect's role. Number four, if you're ready for it, let me know that you need some more. All right, four and more, good. So you ready for number four? Here it comes, your role. See, this is where you let the prospect know, I will be going over such and such and such, and I will be providing you with such and such and such, and I will be giving you a sample or I, whatever your role in the equation, whatever value that you're going to add to that meeting. What do we have to identify that? Let's say that you are in a, in a, a pharmaceutical company, right? And you have a, a physical product that the prospect is going to have to experiment to use. You're going to let them know. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to be with comfortable shorts. So when you get on a vibrating plate machines and, and, and you experience it for about 15 minutes, I'm going to instruct you on how to have the right posture. Yet, See, you're letting them know what to expect beforehand. So they're not coming with a three-piece suit wondering, I can't get in this thing because I'm not going to be able to sweat. So again, identify and explain your role beforehand. That way there's proper, concise uh, uh, expectations that would lead to the right uh, uh, outcome that you would want to have. Number five, let them know what the outcome is going to be. See, one thing that I learned from a young lady that I get the privilege to work with by the name of Debbie Moore, and she said, I expect people to do business with me and I get upset when they say no. Not at them, at myself, meaning that, you know, I mean, I'm expecting my stuff to be that good. And, and if you say, no, I'm a, what, what did I do wrong that I did not, that you didn't see enough value. So you want to let them know. So our goal is to give you one of the best offers possible. So you can have X, Y, Z. So you can remove all the pain that you have in your back. So you can achieve your financial goals. So you can have the home that you dream of. So you can lower your energy bill, whatever niche that you're in, whatever product and service that you are selling. You want to make sure you let them know what the actual outcome was going to be. If I don't know the outcome, I'm still guessing enough. If I'm guessing again, we're winging it. So if you do these five pieces that I just shared with you right now, and by the way, I give credit when credit is due. I learned this methodology, the upfront contract uh, from Sandler Sales Training. I went to their seminar and it was incredible. I learned this plus a whole lot more. So the outcome itself and these five different steps, it allows you to pre-set uh, 
uh, pre-program and project the end results. Because if I have these conversations with you, if you and I, I I'm, I'm uh, uh, the business owner, you're the prospect, and I tell you what are our goals and you agree to them. I tell you how long we're going to meet, you agree to it. I tell you what your role is, your homework or whatever process in the meeting is. I tell you what my role is. I tell you what the end outcome is going to be. And you say, no, sounds fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. I know for a fact 90% of the close is done. Now I just have to fulfill what I said I'm going to do out of those five steps and watch the magic happen. It, it, it really is simple. It's not easy. And don't get me wrong. You're still going to have that one person who's going to say yes, 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 yes to all five. And then they're going to be like, yeah, I don't have money. So it, it's going to happen, right? It's part of the business. But these five steps in doing them before the meeting, not only A, is going to eliminate time wasters because somebody's going to be like, oh, no, I, I can't do 30 minutes or oh, listen, I'm not in a position to try these things right now. Or, hey, I appreciate you know the potential outcome, but there's no way I'm going to be able to sign up for anything. So before the meeting itself, you can tell if this is going to be an income producing activity or I'm just going to have a session with somebody that's going to require a follow-up. And instead of me doing a full 30 minutes full effort, I can shrink it just to 10 or I can even just do a zoom and, and save myself the time, the effort, the gas, the energy to, to go all out and just set up a follow-up appointment. Now, does this help you out a little bit? Do you understand the concept of an upfront contract? And I'm curious to hear, have you ever heard of this concept of an upfront contract? How do you prepare for your meetings? Enlighten me in those comments because I can learn from you if there is a different strategy or technique that you use to prepare yourself for the best outcome possible. Uh, we're going to be back in about an hour in a session in French uh, for those of you who are French speakers. And then we have obviously our five day challenge that is still ongoing today. Um, is day four. A lot of people across the spectrum. I mean, hundreds of people are changing their lives forever. Uh, sorry if you've missed it. Let me know. I'll uh, reserve your spot for the next one. Uh, not this week, but the following week. It is absolutely complimentary for you to be part of it. Um, but uh, I, 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 I appreciate your attention. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. Give us some emojis. Give us some uh, uh, motivation to keep on creating for you. And I will be seeing you yet again in about an hour in French. Peace out, everybody.